Hello, everyone. Um, this is Dr. Fujian Zane, and this is the tip of the week. Fear of being seen. Yes, being seen. Most people complain about not being seen for who they are, want to be seen and heard for their desires, wants, strengths, and resiliency. They need to be loved and accepted for who they are in all the way they show up in the world, even for their vulnerabilities. There's also fear of being seen and judged when they're not at their best, make a mistake, act inappropriately, and are not up to par with what is expected. I spoke with a professional who wants to play big, expand his practice, and have a more substantial presence in social media. However, every time he needs to move forward, fear holds him back. I had a talk with a young woman who was crying before her work evaluation for the fear of being seen for the mistakes that she has done. I work constantly with clients who have social anxiety due to predicting that they will be seen before sure they will be judged by others. Fear of being judged by others can become paralyzing. Most of these fears are in a person's own judgment toward themselves. Some have lived with judgmental parents who share their negative opinions more than their positive ones. Therefore, they interjected their parents' voice and projecting it as if everyone in the world would evaluate them the same way their parents did. Some are aware of the cultural or societal negative judgments and know that if they are seen for that part of them that is devalued by the society, they will be judged harshly. Some have been punished for a way of being or an action and became afraid of being punished again. Some don't want to be publicly humiliated by being judged. Most people like to be seen and rewarded for the parts they value themselves and are valued by society and prefer others not to see the parts that neither they nor society approve of. The truth is every, every human being has this fear and will experience being judged by another person or a community sometime during their life. How to handle it? One, know that is, is a human condition. It is impersonal, although it feels personal, but we all go through it. Two, observe the fear, experience the fear in your body, wherever it is, breathe through the fear and release it. Three, Observe the voice that produces the fear. Recognize the voice. Is it your mom, your dad's, older siblings, teachers, peers, or is it yours? Four, observe if the subject of the judgment is something about you that is about your character, your body, or your action. Five, observe if the subject of the judgment is a matter that can be changed or not. Six, observe if it is a matter that you are fine with and are only afraid of other people's judgment, or it is a matter that you also judge yourself for. Seven, if you're also judging yourself for your action, see if you can change the behavior that you don't like. Eight, if you're okay with your behavior, then ask yourself, what consequences you must pay to continue the behavior if others judge you. Nine, evaluate to see the consequence you must pay if you stop a behavior that you approve of and need it or like it due to the fear of other people's judgment. And 10, observe to see if all is well and the fear is only a projection of a future that would be fair. And if that's not your projection, then all is actually okay. If you observe that you're fine with your behavior, values, appearances, and productivity, and are only afraid of others' opinion, then trust yourself and move forward, knowing that you cannot make everyone happy. If you receive negative feedback from many people about your behavior, but you are still chosen to be a part of this group, consider adjusting your behavior to remain in the community. But if the adjusting the behavior is not possible or a choice, 
find a community that allows this type of value or behavior. If there's a matter about you that cannot be changed, accept yourself and focus on the areas of your life that you're proud of. And consider that everyone has some aspect of them that they just don't like. And if all is well, however, to grow, you must extend yourself to new areas, new behaviors and new skills. Therefore, you fear the unknown and don't trust your abilities to extend yourself. Then trust in what you know. Trust in your capabilities to learn and grow. Trust that even if you mess up, you will learn and grow. And trust that people who love you will still love you. And that is all that matters. For more observational integrational skills to become fully present and whole, get my book, Life Reset, The Awareness Integration Path to Create the Life You Want. And thank you for listening with your heart.